So this video we're going to have a look, quick look at the uh, repairs for client equipment. So we do have the repairs module uh, in, installed here and we don't have any repair orders at the moment but um, that has been enabled. Uh, sorry I'll go back in there and we can see we do have links into client equipment and internal equipment and things like that but we will get into those as we go through the video. First thing we want to do is go into our client equipment and we can see the list of all of our equipment we've, we've, uh, we're maintaining or looking after and we can open up one of these records and we can see that we've got um, this air compressor that we sold in an earlier video and what we want to do here is create a workshop repair so this is a situation where we've got two well we've got two options we can either have the item returned to our workshop to be repaired or we can go out on site and fix it out in the field so there are two options here but this video is about the um, the repairs where we do in our workshop and so if I create a new workshop repair I can see that this item is still under warranty um, and that's pulled that from the equipment record but this is creating a repair order in the repairs module um, and, and so everything is contained together and, and lives in its right place within I do what I've got here too is we can add parts that we're going to consume if we need to and this is a standard I do feature so I won't go too much into that because that's as I say out of the box type functionality um, where you, 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 you've probably seen that many times before I've got my repair notes and I've got miscellaneous again these are out of the box so I won't go into a lot of detail in here I do have the equipment here so because I've created this repair order from a client equipment um, we may not necessarily have the product in our stock um, so this might be a piece of equipment that we're maintaining but we don't really have we, we didn't sell a product to the client we didn't but we, we we now maintain it on the behalf of the client so this this is a way that this is really related to the client equipment I can so I can double check when when this item comes in for repair I can double check the serial numbers and so forth and make sure that they all line up and then we've got our timesheets here where we can add time as we do our repairs. So again, I'm not going to go through all of this because most of these are just standard features out of Odoo. But we do um, we do pull in things like the client equipment and the if a product was to repair and things. These are products that were sold to the to the client that come back for either warranty repairs or, or whatever the case may be. These internal equipment, these may be equipment that we want to repair as part of the maintenance module and we can we can link those two in there. This is just really an added feature in here. But importantly for this, this use case is the client equipment. So this is the important piece of equipment that we're maintaining here, that we're repairing here and so forth. So again, I'm not gonna go into all the ins and outs of how the repairs work because there's plenty of videos already on how the standard Odoo module works so that's not the focus of this video it's really just how do we create a repair for this piece of equipment so what I'll do is I, I won't I won't um, make any modifications to that but I'll, I'll go back to our, our equipment repair and so you notice here that I've now got it in the smart button I've got a link to a single um, repair that is underway at the moment I can open that up and I can see that that's still you know and that takes me back to it so from the client equipment record I can see everything that's going on with this piece of equipment so I hope that makes sense and next one we'll have a look at the field repairs where we've got to go out to site to repair those mod those pieces of equipment so I'll see you in the next video